Hello, beautiful bloodsuckers. This is Crimson, and you are watching some Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Now we're picking up where we left off with all that lovely gunfire going on out there. I like that it's a little loud. We have, since the last time, now that you've heard that lovely reverb effect, fixed that issue while uh, we've approached a locked door. So we can go up to the use icon and attempt to lockpick it. To have begun lockpicking, you will see the bar that represents how long you need to lock it. If it's equal to or greater than the difficulty of the lock, you will be able to pick it. And I think since this is the start, all it is is a progress bar, so if you get interrupted... But hey, you get to look at your hands. You know, who doesn't want to look at their hands? It tells you the difficulty of the lock, you just succeeded. How did you get in here? I just got in here. Anyway, I'll, I'll put a link in the description uh, about how you fix that little audio problem, if you are still having it. And, uh, well, I want it dealt with. I guess we'll uh, listen how it gets fixed. Well, nicely done, though. Not exactly an angel in life, were you? My halo was... God, these lines. Malkavian, it's best. My halo was terribly tarnished. It's perfect. It's so perfect. Cool. Now if you want a lesson on how really not to act, take notes of those sabat assholes. You're a big bad vampire. Yeah, great, congrats. Now keep it to yourself. You go roar and you beat your chest and that's what you can expect. Why need we hide our nature? It's the same reason you don't let humans see you feeding. It's why the wolf doesn't want the sheep to know he's there. It's also why you don't go juggling dumpsters or outrun the 815 from Sacramento. And it's, and it's why you didn't know any of this when you woke up this morning. My eyes are beginning to open. Keep our secret secret and you make things easier on all of us. We're living in the age of cell phone cameras. Fuck-ups ain't tolerated. Makes sense enough, right? Well, it ain't a casual thing for a fledgling like you. My mind is beginning to cloud. Shine a light and explain! That party back there with the guy in the suit and the Magilla Gorilla? The assholes that put your sire to death? That's the Camarilla. They make a tidy business out of enforcing vampire laws like this one. Those Camarilla are my comrades. Mm, yeah, I'll tell you what I think some other time, maybe. I like to let people form their own opinions. My minds have many opinions. All right, now don't worry, because I know the area a little. You know what? I'm glad we're in this situation, you and I. It illustrates a point. You gotta utilize your surroundings. Paint me a picture. You do what you gotta do. Theft, destruction of property, breaking and entering. <laughs> These will be the least of your sins before the night's out. So look around here. You gotta get out the back there through that magnetically sealed door. There must be a key someplace. I shall seek this key. So, area indicator. The icon to the left indicates what kind of area you are in. And this one's a combat area. Combat, anything goes. Masquerade, respect masquerade. Elysium, vampire neutral ground. No combat or disciplines are allowed. Except blood bluff or pock uh, licking. Lock picking. I'm, in, I'm good at things. In masquerade areas, breaking the masquerade can have dire consequences. Can carry. I actually missed the chance to alliterate there. Because I'm so distracted. Oh well. Such as unwanted attention of vampire hunters. After five masquerade violations, the game is over. Your current number of violations are displayed in the upper right corner of your character sheet. Very tutorialized. So, they're giving me uh, a few options on how to get to the magnetically locked door that's oh so strong. So magnetic, much door. So, let's see, we can look at all the objects on the walls. Enjoy, uh, die my darling band. Read the piece of paper. You can read the note with the use icon. You can also look at them with your clipboard and uh, password chop shop. I guess this is a chop shop then. So a password for the computer, if you have computer use. Computer is very useful for controlling quests. And this one, I, I, I'm very much like uh, Control C to use the hacking feat. But so this is your available command. You actually have to type them in. S A F E. I wonder what the password is. Was it chop shop? <gasps> password accepted. Chop shop entering menu. How did I know? Must be my Kit Malkavian nature. So, available command, lock or unlock? Hmm, well, I think it's already locked, so let's go with unlock. Safe doors unlocked. Alright, home. <gasps> and quit. 
safe, you are opened. Container default E, alright, it's already opened. I don't need to, to alright. So now we have a key. Also have a key ring and a wallet. For cash zero, how sad. I have my fists. Oh and my uh light clothing. Can't drop. I guess that's there a good thing. Go. Now take that key card and head out the back. I'll meet you out in the alley there. I'm gonna check out things from topside. I will do this deed. Ah, that's just that's yes, I will do this deed. Alright, I can access my inventory and change things as I was just going through. I have fists. I'll take that chair. Oh, you want some of this? Yeah. I'll beat you up. Ah. I know, some weird vampire kung fu for chair beatings, apparently. Beep. Oh, so quick. I don't even see where that... Whatever. It, the door was magnetically locked, and now we solved it. Oh, I was actually pointing his gun before he fires this time. I don't get to be that cool. Can I take their guns? You have been wounded by the Sabbat. This blue blah represents your current level of health. As you sustain regular damage, it will turn black. If your health is completely depleted, you suffer final death, and your game is over. Your health regenerates over time. When you are feeding, your health regenerates much faster. If your health bar turns yellow, it means you have sustained aggravated damage. Certain hazards like fire and supernatural attacks cause aggravated damage. It takes much longer to heal than regular damage. My gun! I was going to take that. No guns for me? Fine. Fine. Bones, though. Such, such wonderful Santa Monica land. Fucking waste of unlife, these Sabbat Vatos. You get winged? Hey, hey! Look at them potholes! Those will close up soon enough. Better feed, though. <laughs> There's someone down the stairs here. It's not the freshest catch, but he'll do. Does blood have vintage and bouquet? Well, when it comes to feeding, it's quality blood you're looking for, not the quantity. Bums and lowlife don't pack the same punch that a healthy, well-bred human will. Juice bags with a pedigree. That's the good stuff. But you gotta take what you can get. You ever had a PhD, kid? Ooh, that's good stuff. Mm, delicious PhDs. The thirsty rarely avoid an oasis. Remember what I said, though. Don't kill them. At least not the innocent ones. You're a monster now. Make no mistake. One of the damned and the fallen. You need to hold on to every last shred of humanity you have. What if I drain him dry? An innocent's an innocent. You kill one, even a worthless bum, even by accident, and it's gonna cost you a piece of your own humanity. Bring you closer to that beast you got welling up inside you. Silence this sermon. I go to drink the darkness. All right, now go feed. Careful, though. He's gonna drain fast. Aye, aye. <sighs> These lines are so good. Remember, you want to avoid yeah humanity. You can lose. Hello, sir. You 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 look pretty dazed. Um, I don't know. They won't. They won't. Yeah, I'll, I'll be and leaving you alone. Ah! Oh, that is pretty fast, you're draining. Well, at least you get such a hug from a pretty lady, you know? How do you feel about that, Mr. Bum? There's the... Okay, let's let's not read not what he said there. Not quite good, huh? Eh, you can do worse. There's some rats down the way. You think I'm kidding? You can survive feeding on animals if you can stomach that kind of thing. <laughs> Ugh! His neck tasted like your breath smells! Well, give it a try. I need to floss the flannel from my fangs. Rats can be fed upon for a single blood point. Um, killing rats will has no impact on your humanity score. You're, you're, you're making me eat on rats, are you? Hello, rats. I have come to eat you, even though I'm not the Nosferatu. Mm, mm. Oh, delicious, delicious rat. That was fun. I don't even, I'm not even reading. You know? Whatever. <laughs> you rat sucker! <laughs> hey, I don't care what you do, but just so you know, polite vampire society looks down on that kind of thing. 
Etiquette demands they pass the salt for my rodent feast. Keep it down. Got someone around the way here. Only one? Not too much of a threat by himself, but you never know if there's more in shouting range. You're gonna have to sneak past. Where shall I sneak? The building across from us with the garage door. There's some double doors on the far side. I'll meet you inside. Just stay low and stick to the shadows. And don't let him see you. Now you see me, then you don't. Alright, go. Gone. Ah, sneaking is a combination of dex and stealth. Crouch with control. Standing still. Stealth meter indicates uh, all kinds of fancy things. Whether they're proximity, facing you, detecting you. Green's safe, red's not. So, uh, another thing I can, another option I have as a Malkavian is obfuscate if I really want to be sneaky and not look through walls because camera. And again, we could just go to first person if we so desire. Can't go through that door. Uh, the, wh where were you saying you wanted me to go again? Down here? You want me to say hi to the bum again? Dang him dry? I'm already lost and confused. We're on a good start. Good start. Not even through with the tutorial. That is entirely skippable. Oh, did you want me to pick this lock? I'll, I'll get you, lock. Like, are you standing in front of the door? Is Go me? on ahead, just keep it down. Oh. The fence is openable. Uh, I've, I've run into that mistake several times, and I believe it's worth demonstrating that uh, sometimes you won't be able to see through things. So there he is. He's got little numbers indicating how spotted I am. Look at him. I am now 100% spotted. And I forgot to uh, silence some things, but whatever. Take the route to the shadows. Oh, it's gonna force me to do this part. So it'll just restart me whenever I manage to not stealth. So if I so desired to just walk past it, I could. I guess I'll do it in the next part. Use a little trick. So he went out and was swinging wildly. And you see my meter is changing based on where I'm standing and where he's facing. So there's some depth to the stealth mechanics. Keep it quiet, they're inside here. Seems that shovelhead outside just got separated from his pack. He's wounded too. Go take care of him. Don't worry, he's probably greener than you. How can you see his shade from here? The Sabbat, you see, they don't have the most rigorous training program. In fact, that poor sod is lucky if he knows he's a vampire. My own green paint is still fairly fresh. Uh, he's probably just turned and beaten over the head. I like to do that, make shock troops, cannon fodder, put him out of his misery. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. He is a vampire, so be ready. Vampire or no, he meets his maker. Go get him. Getting. So, so we can punch him out and then just hit him. Combination of strength and brawl, all kinds of different attacks combinations. And you can holster and draw your weapon. So, so you made me sneak past him just to demonstrate the mechanics and then you're going to tell me to beat him up. Now there are some more fun options about this. Like doing that. Um, is he going to move? I don't remember. I can move, fellow. All right. Well, let's fist fight. Out. Look at combat. You have a crowbar. I have fist. Since you're made of steel, and I bounce off you every every swing. Very, very, very loud combat. But I'm just gonna adjust it. Can't individually control the sound settings. But I punched you into dust and took your tire iron. Yep, and there's an icon that represents the weapon I currently have equipped down there in the bottom left. You can do all kinds of things, like uh, use the F keys to switch them. Whichever you prefer. And fully rebindable keys. That's that. Sounds like you got another pack moving in, though. The Saban are going all out. You better head underground. Avoid straight bullets. This plan is fine to me. Alright, head down into the basement through the grate in there. 
keep that tire iron handy. I'll be there in a minute. Handy tire iron. Is the grate my only option? This, this is a very strange place for a toilet and a sink. Oh well. Down we go. Or not because I'm standing on it. We don't need to take... Oh, I guess we can take ladders. Auto first person in here. Combat is not the only solution for sticky situations. You can also use the feats and disciplines in the dialogue. When you are able to do this, the responses will show up in different colors. And when using higher resolutions, different fonts, there are they are indicated blue. So um, depending on what ability it is, like, you know, seduction, this indicates a seduction response. This indicates an intimidation response. This indicates a persuasion response. This indicates a dementation response. And blood cost, so... As a oh, Malkavian, you just stay back. I'll have Kinder a lot of fun options. Now, who the hell are you? Are you involved in all this? Because I'm gonna radio this in, and SWAT will be all over this place. Um, well, I think uh, he probably would have called that in, judging by the amounts of gunfire. But hey, so I think I'll go with the uh, dementation. Flee, flee from the terror. Show me the path. Alright, this way. This will lead us up to the warehouse. We can maybe sneak out that way. Follow me not if you want to live. So I could have chosen to murder him, or not to murder him. By choosing not to murder him, I gained humanity. Dialogue options, penalties, and rewards. Stealth kill! Ah. So all you have to do is E once you sneak up behind someone with fists or a melee weapon. And you'll get that indication. So he could see me easily if he turned around, but he's not going to turn around. Um, so we just sneak up behind him. Um, actually, you have to have a melee weapon equipped, for at least. Which I didn't have. And just fire a next snap. Down it goes. Not sure what's going on. Sounds like the Sabbat's getting scattered. I'm gonna keep an ear to the ground. Be careful going forward here. Could be a whole mess of them hold up. More fun then. I'll hold them up. Ah, finally, you're gonna show me my discipline. So, vampiric powers cost a certain amount of blood. You can upgrade them. Uh, blood heal heals me. I don't need to heal right now. There are two kinds of disciplines. Passive disciplines that directly affect you and target that affect your enemies. Blood Bluff is another common one. Basically increases a lot of your stats. Uh, temporary boost to yeah, physical attributes. Variety of situations like lock picking that are locked too difficult and you can use it in vampire sanctuaries but only when lock picking. Do I need it for this lock? Because I'm pretty sure I took a point in it. I guess I do. Let's see if I can remember what my cast button was. Hold on, hold on. We, we gotta, we gotta go to to the fully rebindable controls. Um, da da da, da da da. So, fully rebindable stuff, even character things. I can't believe I forgot. All right, end discipline. Oh, well, that would explain why I don't have a, a discipline key. It's not even bound. How about uh, not reload? Is right click bound to anything? think I'm strafe modifier all that mouse look pause all right it's it's right click now we're going with that for now we'll see how it goes later those are the options so blood buff oh, all those things I gain max health max strength so more damage and we're through the lock hello rats um, let's get our bare hands out. Malkavians have three disciplines. Aspect allows me to see through walls, essentially dementation. Causes visions and madness, and obfuscate invisibility. Uh, see through walls, colors, affects all kinds of things like their disposition, whether they're going to attack me on sight and such. All have os uh, upgrades, os uh, whether or not they're also masquerade violations. So you lose one of those if you do it in sight of normal humans. Um... There's a guard up ahead, use that to see through. Alright, if you insist. So, um, at this low level, it's I have to actually get pretty close to see that little aura. 
but it'll level up quite quite quickly. Okay, that wasn't uh, quite sneaking up on him. But now I have a tire iron. And you see I still see the aura around him, but it's red now. Because he's a meanie. I still sneak mode I am. There we go. And I can just tear him to pieces. Well, I, well, I could have sniped past they're him. Clearing out. There's no need to go stirring up the hornet's nest till we know the score, though. Head through here. We'll come to an elevator around the way. Sneak killed him, at least. Till our next encounter at the elevator. Meet you there. Don't let him catch you. I'll do the fishing. Uh, to be a Malkavian. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here in this lovely room. Thank you so much for watching. My sanity is off to you.